So in the last video, we created this grouped dot plot. Um, on the uh, x-axis, we have different types of jobs, blue collar, professional job, white collar, and some missing values. And on the y-axis, we have income. Um, and uh, in this uh, video, we're going to show how to customize this plot. Um, OK, so. Um, uh, one thing we might do is get rid of this NA here. Um, uh, we don't. We're not really interested in the in the in the missing values. We can either delete them directly from the data set um, over here by just deleting these rows, or we can do it I actually in the plot. And uh, we do this with scales. We have a discrete variable on the x-axis here, so we drag on our 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 double click on our discrete x here. Um, and we say that we only want a couple of included levels. We want included uh, BC, blue collar, WC, white collar, and um, prof, professional. I'm going to click OK. And that uh, is good. Um, and we've also reordered it so that it's sort of increasing. Um, Next, uh, we may want to actually explicitly say what these are uh, so that our readers of the plot are not confused. And we can do that over here. I've just added a three rows here. And we're going to say WC, or sorry, BC, WC, prof. And we're going to map these to, um, uh, we're going to map these to blue collar. Uh, white collar and professional. That's how you spell it. Um, and we're also going to add a space here to get rid of the title. Click OK. And now we've got um, some nice uh, labels for our x axis. Next, it's time to look at the y axis, it's continuous. So we just drag that on here. Um, and we can actually specify exactly which points we want on the y-axis and what to label them as. Or we can use um, different break and labeling functions here. Um, so what I want to do is I want actually some commas in those incomes values. And so we say OK. That only kind of worked because we've got a comma here, but we've gone into scientific notation up top here. Um, so we can take a look and see what options we have in here in the comma. And we have a digits option here. And so this is just the number of digits before it starts going into scientific notation. I'll just bump that up to something big and click OK. Now we've got um, some nice values here. Oh, we forgot we want to give it a capital income. And so now we've got it capitalized there. Um, and so uh, now we've got a nice plot, uh, a nice, uh, um, uh, a nicely labeled uh, plot here. Um, so one other thing that we can do is if we've got um, a different plot, let's let's make a a, a scatter plot here. Um, or actually, let's go. we'll add in some points. We'll do uh, education level versus income, and we'll color it by prestige. So we see we've got um, higher prestige tends to have both higher education and higher income, and lower prestige are down in the bottom left corner here. And we've got our um, our legend here. Um, so we saw that we could uh, change the axis of the x-axis and y-axis uh, via these scales, and we also control the legend here um, by these uh, by the scales as well. We've got a couple different options here, and we're going to use the color gradient. Drag that on, and now we've got a legend here. And what we're going to do is we're going to switch it up to this new ggplot2 thing. Uh, that we can do called a color bar. 
So we're going to do a color bar and we're going to capitalize this prestige. And we click OK. And so now we've got a nice gradient color bar here, um, which is uh, uh, very nice. Um, we can also um, change the values that uh, are, are ticked here. Um, If we know that our scale goes from 0 to 100, um, we can tell it that the legend should go from 0 to 100, and also the data range should go from 0 to 100. And there. Now we've got a nice looking um, plot that covers the entire range of our data. Um, and uh, uses the new color bar uh, feature. And as with all plots um, in the plot builder, you just click run and they are run in your uh, R console uh, with reproducible um, uh, reproducible ggplot2 code. Okay, so that's it for this uh, little tutorial and uh, thank you.